The Subsea Power Hub is an ocean current energy conversion system. What that means is it's a device for converting the kinetic energy from passing ocean currents into useful electrical power. It's given free power essentially. Uh, you're using the currents that are in the water to be able to power your subsea asset. The power created by the SPH is stored within the battery pack and supplied directly to the application as required. We monitor the system and the health monitoring through acoustic communications, removing the requirement for a cable back to surface. It's the first step essentially in removing the umbilical. It can be deployed rapidly, it's a lot quicker to use and to get your asset back up and running as opposed to trying and replacing a failed umbilical for example. Ocean currents are very predictable. We can use those ocean currents to generate power and store it within the subsea power hub. That power can then be delivered to an end user and certainty of power is guaranteed by the management system of the device. This gives confidence to the client because they can be guaranteed that they will get the same power output at the beginning of the, of the deployment as they will at the end of the deployment. So the full SPH consists of two or more turbines. But in order to de-risk the technology and accelerate the TRL of the overall system, we decided to build a single turbine unit and take that to a test facility in Orkney. To get to the point of actually going up to Orkney, we've done years of pre-work building up to that. We started off doing uh, from taking the computational model and doing scale lab testing in a flow tank and that uh, verified our actual design of the turbine and how much power we expect to produce from the turbine itself and that then led on to moving to a full-size turbine which we then incorporated into the subsea power hub and that's what we took up to Orkney and deployed. The single turbine unit was assembled in Orkney Quayside in one day. The installation works took a further one day. That testing significantly advanced our understanding of the system, allowing us to make optimizational changes to it. The subsea power hub has several novel features. It has a modular design to it, which allows for um, parts to be taken away or added rapidly. Um, it helps with the assemble and build of the actual unit as well. It's very simple to install. It's a one trip process, and it means that once it's installed, it has zero intervention. Um, it's going to work fully autonomously. The system is fully configurable, dependent on different requirements. So if a customer comes to us with a certain power requirement and flow range, we can configure the system accordingly to meet their requirements. Another unique attribute of the SPH is the fact that we can store energy in a battery pack. So what you can now do with a battery and how you can utilise it and store energy is, is increasing dramatically. And with the SPH being a modular design, we can then account for any new battery technology that's coming to the market. At ECUG we have many different skilled individuals and from having them and their experiences and their technical input, we have managed to develop the subsea power hub in a relatively short turnaround time. So it's really down to the, the individuals coming together to work as a team that has enabled the subsea power hub to be deployed in the time frame that it has. We've moved from a sketch on the back of a napkin to a device that's installed and operating. We've managed to de-risk the technology to a stage where we're ready to open it up to the market.